Hello and welcome back to our channel. I'm Jack and once again I'm joined by Dada. And as you know we are from Japan, Japan Private, Private Tour. Tour. And so we're going to be visiting some of Tokyo's most famous sakura spots. And we thought we'd take you guys along for the ride. And if you guys are watching by your smartphone, um, this is going to be a VR video. So we'd recommend you downloading the YouTube app to get the full experience. So let's go explore. of three different types of gardens, Shinjuku Gyoen covers a vast 144 acres. Within the area you can find a whopping 1,000 cherry blossom trees, or sakura as it is referred to in Japan. Due to the various kinds of sakura trees that you can find at Shinjuku Gyoen, you are very likely to catch the blossoming sakura there throughout March and April. Even though it's located in the heart of the city, Shinjuku Gyoen offers a peaceful atmosphere to visitors. You'll find a great number of people visiting during the sakura season to relax, whether by strolling around or enjoying a picnic under the shelter of the flowering trees. Right, so we have moved on to our second location and I mean it's incredibly beautiful. Um, where are we then? It's Nakameguro and yeah, it's really beautiful. Yeah, here, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Many would claim that Nakameguro is the most famous sakura spot in Tokyo. Running for 4 kilometers, the river is lined with 800 sakura trees, trendy shops, restaurants and cafes, and specifically for the occasion, stalls are also set up. The combination of delicious festival food and sakura themed refreshments such as pink champagne makes Nakameguro an incredibly popular hangout during the sakura season. Illuminated lanterns either side of the river creating a delightful spectacle, but unfortunately they have not been put up this year due to the coronavirus. And right, so we've reached our final stop, which is Dada? It's Chidori Gafuchi. Right, let's go. Okay. we have the moat of the former Edo castle, which is decorated beautifully by 200 sakura trees and located northwest of the imperial palace. Our recommendation to viewing the sakura here is via boat. Normally you'll see many boats full of couples paddling their way around the moat to get the best views of the sakura. Yet this has also been stopped this year in an effort to discourage huge crowds because of the current situation. However, the sakura can also be appreciated from the side, and the water surface decorated in falling sakura petals only adds to the romantic side before you. And so yeah, those were a few of our recommended sakura spots in Tokyo. Uh, we know that due to the current situation, uh, some of you can't come to Tokyo this spring, and we hope that this video has kind of allowed you to experience sakura um, from wherever you are. So thank you again for watching, see you next time, bye bye! bye.